A couple of years ago, a health plan came to us in a bit of a panic with their Medicare Advantage contract potentially on the line. You see, they had just recently submitted their HSD tables to CMS, but unfortunately, when they prepared their HSD tables, they did so manually. So as you can imagine, all of the counties that a single provider or facility could service were not accurately reflected in their submission. As a result, their network adequacy was severely understated. In what this plan had submitted to CMS, there was a identified 421 specialty gaps. The good news for this team in coming to Quest Analytics was that after we ran things through on our end with a complete network uh, file, we identified that in reality, there were only 14 specialty gaps that this team needed to remediate in, in order to be compliant. So while this, you know, was great news for the team, you know, coming from a, a perceived 400 specialty gaps down to just a mere 14, they were still a bit perplexed in terms of, you know, how they were going to pull this off. The submission window was down to mere days and they knew unless they did something drastically different, they had hours and hours of Google searching and scouring their competitors' directories, just hoping that they could contract with enough providers to move the needle on these specialty gaps. So that's where provider impact analysis uh, came into play. What was key to helping this team achieve the speed that they needed and get very prescriptive in uh, remediating these specialty gaps was that provider impact analysis because it allowed them to understand exactly who to contract with um, to have the most impact on their network. This ranked and ordered recruitment list allowed them to see exactly which provider had the most impact on network adequacy. And it also allowed them to understand other data attributes um, to help determine, you know, which providers would have the most value on their network. With just one additional contract, this team was able to fill 12 specialty gaps and Quest Analytics was able to help this team understand that the two remaining specialty gaps were actually eligible for an exception. Um, so they then had the uh, market intel that they needed to drive that exception narrative. During a recent call um, just last week with this team, actually, um, it was kind of funny. We were reminiscing and, and shared a bit of a laugh in terms of how far you know we've come together in our partnership since that fire drill. Now, this team has a process in place for measuring both network adequacy and network accuracy, um, for managing both to correction, and for monitoring network performance over time. Um, and as they continue to evolve their strategy to keep up with the changing demands of the market, we are focusing not only on building adequate networks, but we're focused together on building excellent networks, networks that are taking a very holistic approach to improving the member experience by incorporating network adequacy, network accuracy, and network quality.